I am from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I am in the process of growing my nonprofit called This Is Us Undefeated Survivors, which is geared towards helping those who have been sexually assaulted. This is something I've prayed on and I know that this is my purpose. And so my biggest hurdle now is getting the funding and raising the funding so that we can go ahead and start this process and help those who need it. The, the thing the thing that I would I would suggest is as as you're as you're building this out, I think I, you can kind of you can kind of feel your passion and how connected you are to to the mission itself. Um, and I think in conversations with with anyone around fundraising, I think that that's going to connect and that's going to show through. Um, I would say I've spent a, a, a ton of time in, in um, venture capital and working with startups, and it might not seem connected, but you're almost you're asking for for seed money like it's an investment. And I think the ability to to kind of build out the vision on paper and present the vision to to the right people, um, you know, kind of building building a list of um, companies and individuals that you know are connected to your cause, um, you know, really taking the time to build build out almost your, your business model and your, your almost your pitch deck um, and be able to, to tie the, the business plan with your passion and being able to pitch it in a way that people can see that you're passionate about it they can see the direction that you want to take it and they can also see you know if i if i give you dollars i can see the impact that these dollars will have and i can see you know how these dollars are going to be spent i think the ability to kind of lay it out with that mentality on the back end um it's going to allow it's going to allow you to articulate it to, to folks and it's going to allow them to receive it in a way that um, anyone that, that cuts a check, whether it's an investment or it's a donation, they want to be connected to, you know, the, the return on that money. And, and in this situation, the return is an is impact. Um, yes. So the more that you can kind of draw the line from, you know, starting point to, to that impact, I think it's going to help you. It's, it's going to help you connect, you know, with folks in, in a greater way. You know, let me, I can step in, and this may be an indirect thing because the nonprofit is not, but I do work with a nonprofit called Healthy Babies in Washington, mm-hmm. D.C. And what they do is they provide housing for uh, teenage girls that have been pregnant and abused. And so they allow them during their pregnancies to come and live there. And they provide all of their skill sets. But the young lady that runs that, you know, she, this is her world. I, you know, part of it probably would be at this point for me, I. You know, offline, I can send an email or something, but I can definitely connect you with the director of that program because she spends the majority of her time raising money for her nonprofit. So part of it sometimes is not knowing the answer, but knowing where to get it. And uh, correct. You know, um, I could definitely, you know, you know, send out an email to Marcus, wherever, and, and connect you to because she's very collaborative in that way. Uh, because her goal is to see women empowered and those that are being abused to have some place of refuge. And I think that work is, is, is necessary, especially, you know, uh, throughout this country. So, yes, I mean, I think yes. collaborating with the right people. That would be amazing because that is my my ultimate goal in the long run is to offer for those who have been abused, to offer them somewhere to stay if they don't have anywhere to stay. Um Pretty much our goal is to help them start over with the counseling. If you dropped out of school, we're going to help you get your GED. And then we're going to go into job training. And if you need somewhere to lay your head, my ultimate goal is to have that place where you can sleep. 